hello everyone welcome back to my channel welcome to my channel if you're new uh i am hoping that today marks a new dawn a new dawn i launched a new project today a new page on instagram called love letters from ganymede and i will tag it below if you're interested in it and so i launched this new project and i also just want to kind of like and moving forward with like these new endeavors i want to do things differently so this time i am hoping to start doing clothing hauls for youtube so quick backstory before i get started i used to do very honest very real um clothing hauls on my patreon account if you're interested in that i'll put it below as well but all of my clothing hauls used to be on patreon exclusively um just because i was showing you guys the real real sometimes there was a slip of a labia sometimes there was a slip of a nipple but like my patreon page is nsfw which is allowed in that community um so obviously the hauls need to be different here i need to be completely covered there's not going to be any twerking in a thong going on <laughs> on youtube uh i'm already regretting this i'm already having regrets i am just coming to you guys straight real raw as a customer who is buying plus size clothes and that needs some shit that fits that's it i only care about if it fits well if it's that body friendly and if it's price accessible um so today i want to show you guys some of the clothes and the vibe that i'm going for in my new launched endeavor i am doing um a very curated feed and so these clothes are very neutral new neutral like this bra strap that really hurt oh god oh. do you remember when people used to do that in like school why did people do that and why did girls think it was funny oh my god that hurt okay so i'm quite tall you guys i'm almost six feet tall so there isn't really like a good way for me to film my entire body i'm just giving you guys an idea of what i have going on and then you guys can head over to love letters from ganymede to see like the whole vibe in its entirety like full body images if that's what i end up posting of the outfits um we're kicking this off with something that's way out of my comfort zone like pretty much all of this <laughs> we have this satin skirt which i don't hate i don't hate it um it does have this sort of like ruching detail that goes all the way down and i feel like this skirt is like a little long for me so it goes all the way down to like mid shin, which is like really long for me again, um, cause I'm quite tall and it has the ruching that goes all the way down. I do like the ruching. I think it's really kind of cute. It adds an interesting detail. Um, again, it's a little, you know, it's a little hard to walk in. I'm clumsy, but it's really cute. And it's out of my comfort zone. I don't know anything this color, the champagne color. Um, so yeah, if you're not confident in your belly, and you're not confident in your belly but showing, definitely do some shapewear or like whatever you need to feel good. Um, I don't like shapewear, so like this is it for me. Um, I definitely probably wouldn't pair it with this sweater in real life. I would probably do like a skin tight crop or something just because I feel like the sweater, I don't know, is taking away the sexy of the skirt. So this shirt <laughs> again out of my comfort zone it's I feel like it's a weird kind of like cut I feel like it should either be I don't know shorter and tighter or a, like longer and cozier it's got the dolman sleeves um so like that's weird but it's uh, it's hitting at a weird spot on my body which is bizarre because I have a pretty short torso for somebody who's tall um but it's like it moves a lot when I move my arms which is bizarre and I think it just has to do with the length of it um, it's got the open back detail as you guys can see which I think is really cute um, so yeah I don't really like that the whole sweater moves when I move my arms just because the length is at an awkward spot um, could be that I need to pull my sleeves up I do have really long arms so no it still does it um, so yeah, but anyways, if this is cute, it's actually really soft and comfortable. Now, I'm gonna try this 
top on with some biker shorts that I got and then also some jeans from Old Navy just to see how I really feel about this top because I don't know I feel confused okay okay y'all <laughs> I have not owned a pair of biker shorts since I was in probably third or fourth grade I hated them back there I just feel like it's giving me camelicious okay are, are we getting camelicious vibes because whoo, I I definitely am fortunately for me I'm pretty confident in my camel existence so but like if that's something that freaks you out just know ahead of time that the camels will come out to play in these particular shorts if if you're bountiful in that region of your body which clearly I am so I like that these are high-waisted they are very high-waisted um, which again I have a pretty short torso for somebody who's tall so that's not hard to accomplish for me. I think they make my booty look cute, so I'm into that for sure. Um, I love the champagne color. Obviously I'm into it because it's the second item that I got that's the champagne color. But these looked more iridescent, in my opinion, online. They somehow looked glittery or iridescent-y or something, I don't know. They look different than when I got them. They're like, the, the fabric is a way more dull and more chill. Um, in real life, but they're super soft. They're super comfortable. I don't know if this is my style or something that I would actually like wear out somewhere, but I would definitely chill and wear these around the house 100% for sure. Um, but they're super cute and they're gonna look really good in photos. Like I like the way that the light is hitting them and the sheen is picking them up. Question though, do I like it with this sweater? Right now, I don't think I like anything with this sweater. I didn't like the skirt and I don't like it with these biker shorts either. So I'm gonna try it with a pair of jeans. I do like it with the jeans. I feel like it's a whole different shirt with these jeans. Um, these are some old navy jeggings. I am in the middle on how I feel about elastic waists. Um, I feel like it's every, it's always like a tell that you're too fat for normal jeans or too cheap for normal jeans. Like you're too poor, too fat. Um, when you have to break it to the elastic, if, especially if you're not pregnant. Um, I don't know. I feel like I'm going to go ahead and rebel against that a lot this winter because these jeans are super fucking comfortable. They're so easy to pull on. And um, I just think that they, they look really cute. And they do have um, functional pockets in the back. So I think they make my booty look really juicy, which obviously is a priority. Um, so yeah. And hallelujah, I do love the way that the sweater looks with these jeans. That's all I wanted was to find one garment that I could match with this sweater because I was getting scared. This is another kind of like item that's really out of my comfort zone. I mean, I guess it's supposed to be tied like this in the front. I don't know. I think they tucked it on. Oh, hell no. We don't like that at all. We want to leave it out for sure. Um, I think they tucked it on the uh, picture that I saw on the website, but um, again, this is a little bit out of my comfort zone. I do like the color that I love mauves and soft pinks and things like that. I think that looks really good on my skin, um, especially like the muted neutral kinds of pinks. But um, this style is a little weird for me. I normally don't do anything that ties up my waist. I don't, I'm not filling it with the jeans to be a thousand percent honest with you. I'm not saying that I wouldn't throw it on really quickly if I just needed to go out. Oh my gosh, hold on. Maybe I can make this cute with the jeans for fall if I throw on like a cute little cardigan or something. I don't have a lot of cardigans, but I have this one. It's my favorite to wear. It's also now the only one that I have. And I still don't like it. I don't know, I just, I'm not into it. I don't think it's bad. Um, this cardigan's from Deb Shops, which is no longer open. They closed down. Um, and I'll link something similar for you guys. But yeah, I don't hate it. It's just not my style. I really feel like this needs a pencil skirt, maybe a blazer, but there's a really big part of me that just feels like this top doesn't need to happen, but one time. So I'm trying these now with, I like this so much better. <laughs> I like it with these sort of like, whatever they're called, liquid leggings, whatever. I just feel like that denim didn't go with this. The cardigan didn't save it. I honestly don't think I would like it with a pencil skirt, but this I can kind of get into, it's cute. 
All right, so I have to show you guys this bodysuit like in real time because this is the second or third bodysuit that I've gotten from Fashion Nova in my size that just fits like, like does this. And it's such a, like the bodysuits are just cut weird all of a sudden. They used to be a little bit too short. Now they're like long enough, but they're doing, they're doing this. <laughs> Don't understand what this is about and what it's for. Nobody wants this. If anything, I'll take this, but I don't want this. And the funny thing is like, it actually, they've been looking ill-fitting on the models on the website, which should have told me what I needed to know, but I gave it a chance. Um, so yeah, which is such a pity because I was really hoping to wear this on its own, like just as a cute sort of like Kanye season, Lord knows whatever one, two, or three, whatever he's on now. I don't know when they were just doing like the nude bodysuits and just kind of standing there. I love that vibe. So I don't know if this does a good job of hiding what's going on or not, or if the fabric kind of bunches up underneath it. I think I can still see it. Um, so I don't know what I'm gonna do just yet. This this might not be something that I can wear where the body, the bottom of the bodysuit shows in any capacity, like ever. Um, it is comfortable, it is very soft, it is very stretchy. I'll link this bodysuit, obviously, but I'm telling you guys now, size down. Um, but honestly, I don't know what would happen if you would size down. I don't know if you would have issues with the length because that is an issue that I had with the size 2X bodysuits for a really long time. And instead of giving us length, they gave me wings. So I don't know. <laughs> but I got this dress because I thought that it would be like just really cozy and kind of like chill. Um, I thought it would look really cute with some booties. I love it with a bodysuit underneath. Um, I can just see myself like just hanging out on my deck like literally chilling in this with like either a blanket or a cardigan or like a fluffy jacket and like some booties having a cup of coffee that's kind of the vibe that i got with this this is definitely summer it is a mesh crochet mesh cover-up situation but um i think there's so many things in summer that would work for a kentucky like early fall so this obviously is a beachy sort of like sarong situation it's obviously sheer with the exception of like one panel is kind of lined a little bit it all looks pretty sheer in the camera so it doesn't matter but there is one section that's a little bit lined and where that lining is makes no sense but i just think this is so pretty like literally like i just love this i think this is gorgeous i think it's stunning I would love to be like just outside in the woods, surrounded by trees and greenery, and just, you know, letting the fall wind blow through this and like this whole outfit. Like, I love it. I think it's just so pretty. Um, and again, this is definitely from summer. It's a beach cover up, it's mesh, it's see through, but it works perfectly fine for a Kentucky early fall. And I would definitely do it with like just some gold sandals, like flat shoes, just in the forest, just feeling the early fall breeze coming through and letting it flow through this. I think this is just really cute. And I, you know, depending on if I was going out somewhere where I kind of needed to be chic, I would throw on a really cute structured bodysuit or something like that, and then just put this on over it with some strappy heels or some stilettos, some pumps, and go to work. Literally, I would stomp in this stomp through in this because i just think this is so elegant and so chic yes yes i am aware that it is a beach sarong okay so the next up is this bodysuit i don't want to show you guys what it looks like you know youtube community guidelines and all but let me just say that it is it is that that's what it is so if your hoof paw is, you know, plushy, if it's well fed and comfortable, uh, it's gonna be hanging out. Let me just say that. So there you go. Um, <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, this is super cute, it's super sexy. I think if I were shooting that type of content um, on Love Letters from Ganymede, I would, <laughs> oh, I would be all up in that. But that's not what I'm doing over there. Okay? That's not what I'm doing over there. Um, but yeah, I just think that was really chic. I pulled out the black leggings again for this one. I think I'm gonna have to introduce elements of black sooner than I planned on. Um, I was thinking about like maybe in October because Halloween, like introducing a little bit of black. But I just think this is really cute. Make sure your pants, cause look, look at that. I barely, 
Like these pants are high waisted. Just to give you guys perspective of like the what's happened, the goings on. These pants are high waisted. They're up here, y'all. Okay, like my belly button's like down here. Um, but yeah, that is literally like maybe an inch from showing it all. So just you know, get yourself something high waisted with this if you get this bodysuit. But I just think it's really cute. I love it for fall. So this is another top that's really out of my comfort zone. It's very, it's a little bit more feminine. I usually don't do the puffy sleeve situations. I think you can wear it a little bit more off shoulder. Or if you wanna be more conservative, pull it on top. That's, this sleeve detail is definitely not mine. The texture is very rough. Um, it's glittery fabric and it feels like sandpaper. All that aside, it is cute. And I do like it with these jeans as well. Um, I think that Fashion Nova is trying to solve the problem of bodysuits that are too short because this one has the same issue that the other one did where it's like ooh lord it's like a landing strip in the bajish area and for me that's a little weird like i feel like they could make it a little bit more of like a conservative thong so that it's not like you know a landing strip but it's like they just needed to make the bodysuit longer so they added four inches of like the thong part instead of four inches of the bodysuit part, you know? But it's still cute. I still like it and it's gonna photograph so well. I don't know um, what I'm gonna pair it with just yet. I just put on these jeans because I think that I wanted to see it dressed down instead of up. Um, but I think this is super cute. Okay, I am definitely one of those people that doesn't recognize how big I really am because when I saw this, it looked like it was cut super wide. And I was expecting it to fit as awkwardly as the bodysuit did. Put it on, fits like a glove. I am 100% a true 2X, but I love it. It's so soft, it's super stretchy, it's so comfortable. I love the color. I love that this would look so cute with like clear heels, gold heels, black heels, nude heels. Listen, when I can throw on whatever shoe I want with an outfit or a dress, it is like a godsend for me personally. So I I love this. And it's got this like snap detail on the side. These are non-functional snaps, they're just for decoration. I like the length. I like that it hits like just right below the knee. These are non-functional snaps, but I love the detail. I just think the detail is super sexy with the gold. So yeah, this is definitely a, oh, we have to get together somewhere. This is probably gonna be a fall real quick go-to. And again, this is just my, like, this is the only cardigan that I have right now, but I just love how this looks. Like, I think that this works really well and it's super cozy, it's super cute. I can throw on a pair of booties if I like have to go somewhere with my kids and then I can take this off, maybe throw on like a moto jacket or a denim jacket and a pair of strappy heels or some sexy stiletto booties and just be ready for nighttime. I think it works. I am all about multifunction outfits that I can wear as a parent and where I need to be conservative and matronly, but I can also go out and hoe it up in the city. Like it has, like I love when my clothes have a, like a sense of duality about them. There's nothing worse than having a wardrobe that only fits in a portion of your life. I try in my day-to-day -day life to like really hone in on pieces that are gonna look bomb, whether I'm at the zoo or whether I'm throwing back tequila shots. Okay, so this is the first evening gown. <clears throat> first impressions you guys I almost because this tool is very long it's obviously meant to be worn with heels and I'm barefoot I almost slipped on this tool and fell to my death so first impressions you know put some heels on because you might die um, second impressions what are we doing what are we going to where where this is the, the vibe you know where it's like princess dress yes yes but she naughty. So I might just, for my own purposes, throw a few stitches in here, um, just so that it works better for me, or a safety pin or something like that, because I definitely like it closed way better than I like it open. I'm saying that now, who knows when I actually sit down and think about shooting this and where I want to shoot and how I want to style it. Listen, the twins, the very fraternal twins, <laughs> will be out to play so who knows but um yeah for now i really think that i just i'm into this way more than i'm into the low cut
And I just want to show you guys how long it is. The lining part goes down to my ankle. The tool goes down at least a good six to seven inches below. I love the high slits. I think it would look really pretty. Like if I could get like some wind going or even just take a picture in, mo in motion. I think that's really pretty, Walk, walking or whatever. Do I think that this is something that I would ever wear to a formal event? Um, probably not, it's not my style. It looks so much more chic on the website and it's just not my vibe here. It's definitely not the level of chic that I prefer um, when going out um, somewhere that I need to be in formal attire. Okay, uh -huh. okay, what are we, okay. I do not hate her. I don't. I feel like even though this is just as flowy as the other dress, I feel like this is still more me. The champagne instead of the baby pink is already a win. Um, it's obviously falling off of me, so I need to like figure that out, but um, it's not zipped all the way in the back. I don't have anybody to help me zip it up all the way, so just bear with me as it falls off, but this is definitely more my speed. This cuffs. So it's definitely, I think that's for me, like when I see cuffs on something, it reminds me of a pantsuit and it just makes me think of like a little matronly, but um, I think that it has so many sexy features in it that I'm like willing to forgive the cuffs. I don't hate this. It's like, I think it looks really good on me, you know, like I think it's a good style for me. I obviously am gonna have to do a few things to it to get it to stay up and work. I'm just really into it. I think that it's really beautiful. And it's really comfortable. I love the sort of like satiny fabric. Again, it feels like pajamas. And I am all about the pajama feel. Maybe that's also the cuffs. The cuffs remind me of pajamas as well. Um, but yeah, no, I love this. This is really cute. So I would definitely keep this. I don't know how formal, formal this is. I don't know if this would count as a real gown. Again, the cuffs and the pajama feel kind of throws me off and it makes me feel like maybe it's not that chic but it is elegant, and I don't know if elegant and chic are synonyms or not. So those are all the things that I've gotten uh, for my new page, Love Letters from Ganymede. The way that I think about that space is it's meant to be a mood board and sort of like a lifestyle inspiration directory, um, which means that it's not necessarily um, makeup and clothing driven the way that my Sassy Latte account is. That's that, you guys. Let me know what your favorite pieces are. Um, let me know if you guys own any of these things and let me know if there's some stuff that you plan on actually shopping for. Again, I am leaving my discount code. I just shopped the Labor Day sale. I'm not sure when this video will go live for you guys. It probably won't be a 40% off sale when it goes live, but you guys can use my discount code, um, Sassy Latte, uh, for 20% off. Um, and yeah, let me know what your favorites are. Other than that, I hope you guys are having the best day that you can. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Um, I don't know if thumbs up matter on YouTube or not. I don't know, but everybody says it. So that's what I'm going to say. Give me a thumbs up, please. If you did like this video and I will catch up with you later.